like it guys um something a bit different today by the way i like my new tank it's got an led if you haven't seen that um yeah something a bit different this is something i've not done a video on i don't believe before but i download a lot of torrents and if you guys do too i'm going to try and help you let's get straight into this i use u torrent if if you use something else that's up to you i find this best i'm just going to go through my settings basically with you preferences i start i leave that i leave that directories i leave that now connection here i put a port quite high up 63,000 I've used enable this enable this that helps you connect do not randomize just keep using a high port that works well for you also if you want you can add a windows firewall exception I'll do that now I didn't I didn't have to but there you go I've added it now <coughs> bandwidth I played around until I found a good, um, how can I say? I, I found that my band, my download speed went highest when I put this amount in here. I played around with it basically. My download hit its peak when I put this amount in. So higher than this, it went slower. Lower than this, it went slower. Now down here, I've got no, um, you know, my download rates max. I've put zero in here. Now you can see my globe. This is what made my speed fly. Do not tick these. And here, number of connections. I just gave it eight nines in these three boxes, all of them. Tick the bottom box there. Bit torrent. Tick, tick, tick. Do not tick this. Do not tick enable bandwidth management. Tick the bottom one. Tick, tick do not tick limit peer bandwidth do not and i don't know what this bottom one is but i haven't got it ticked now your encryption that's uh, that's uh, up to you depending on your connection if you have an isp that blocks torrents go on here and force it but if you do that you won't be able to connect to as many people tick allow incoming legacy connections either way i've enabled encryption i haven't forced it i don't have to and if you're really lucky and you've got an isp that doesn't give a damn disable it now where are we at transfer cap again i don't use queuing again i've put my own values in here max number of torrents nine max number of active downloads eight minimum ratio seeding 400 zero zero and tick no boxes there scheduler don't use remote don't use playback don't use although you can you can put you torrent player or your own paired devices don't use label don't use and advanced settings I don't really I don't really play with those you don't need to now if you guys want to know if this works that's the main setup there you guys can I know I've rushed through that a bit but you guys can go back and you can pause the video to look at any of this you guys want to know if this works obviously so I'm going to go over here this site here whirlpool.net dot au has some torrents you can download I believe this is Linux here basically click on there it brings you over to this page this is the English torrent 4 gig in size so we'll have a click on that download torrent and this is the site I always use for my speed tests so obviously that's going to open a new torrent. Let's go. Let's see what speed I get. Let's 
just checking it because I downloaded it like I started downloading it before and I obviously didn't delete it off my hard drive but here we go it's starting up I've got a hundred meg uh, fiber so my max would be about 12 anywhere near 12 and I'm happy in fact we can work it out by just doing this There it is, I'm at bottom number here. I'm doing 93, 102, 110, 109, 110, 110. I'm maxing out my connection there, 110. Okay. So guys, there you have it. This configuration works great. I'm maxing out my connection. And actually there, I'm only uploading 30. So it would take me six minutes to download four gig so yeah guys I hope this helps you um, any questions just put them down below any comments any any tricks you guys know anything like that you know because torrents you know they can be a right bugger some people wait days for a torrent don't they Anyway, guys, I will catch you all later. I'll see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Catch you later, guys.